Welcome back guys. Today what we're going to do is try to 3D print a key for one of these padlocks from a photo. And now these are really cheap generic padlocks from the uh, Dollar Tree. But that being said they're still a lock and we're going to try to make this work. So we're going to open this one up and give it a go. So here we are key, padlock, and let's get a key off of here, Hang it. you'd think they just put one of these keys in the package so you could easily get the key off, but no, that'd be too much to ask for, people, 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 and Oh, needless to say, I think this is going to be a really easy key to 3D print. Um, that is pretty craptacular. But, nonetheless, stick it in. Oh, God. And it works. I mean, not very well. <laughs> oh, God, this is bad. Um, really bad. But, you stick the key in, and by some stretch of the imagination, it does work. What I want to do real quick is I just want to kind of try to jab something like a screwdriver in there and see if that works because that would kind of make this video pointless. There we go. Oh, yeah. I, oh, well, it's still locked. I mean, this turns, but so you can tell it turns and stays locked. So anyways, here's our key. So I'm going to go take some pictures of this and see what we can get done with it. See if we can 3D print this. Alright guys, we're back. So let's go ahead and see our pictures. Um, we have this picture I took, which looks pretty good. And then we have this picture we took, which I painted the key green real quick with just a quick blast of spray paint. And then used my favorite uh, blowtorch, of course, you've seen in that in the other videos. And uh, dried it off real quick. That way there wasn't so much glare off of the key to do this. And next what we're going to do is go to our favorite SVG creator right here. And select our image in. Where did I put that? I think I put that in videos. Basics. Blah, blah, blah. Copying a key. There we are. So we'll just grab this one first. Actually, we need to bring these into paint and fix them up real quick. We know how that goes. There we go. And try this one first. First, let's see how the magic wand does whenever we just select it. Okay, that does not do great. Maybe if we set our tolerance. Oh, no. Let me go down in our tolerance. Up a hair. Yeah, that's not quite working. Maybe if we select a different spot of the key. Not quite. Well, that's kind of what I was worried about. So, if we come over here to adjustments and make this black and white. And come in crop this out maybe just this there we go now we're getting somewhere maybe the magic wand will take it now still not great maybe if we just adjust our tolerance a little nope so it goes to from grabbing this to grabbing everything so we'll come over here to adjustments and contrast. Maybe if we crank our contrast up. Right in there. And grab it. Yeah, that's not working either. Okay, so maybe we'll have better luck with the other picture. Uh, for doing this the easy way. I won't guarantee that or anything. Okay, yeah, it's still recording. 
let's just open this one and let's go ahead and crop this real quick just down to the key and we'll press the crop to selection button this one's not quite as clear and that did a really good job um, it has a little bit of cleanup we could do in here but let's go ahead and just paint bucket everything it selected black there we go so got that and now we'll just go ahead and crop this again and we can go ahead and kind of come in and fill some of this in I guess I don't know if it's going to cause us a problem or not whenever we take this to our SVG converter Okay, so it's actually kind of making this a little bit wider up here. So maybe the paint bucket method ain't working out. But, you know what we could do is Y. And Y. Okay. And then we could select everything in the background. Right? Make it, say, white. Oh. Nope, that's not. It is. Yeah, shift and press. Okay. Yeah, that's not really working. Um Maybe if we take our paintbrush tool just kind of make it a little bit wider. Yeah. Flip this back around to black and just kind of paint this stuff in there we go yeah that'll work the only reason i'm doing this is just because whenever we take it over to our svg creator i don't want it to give it a lot of problems and i don't know how these white specks on the inside will kind of treat it but now this is gonna work i believe i believe we will have no issues whatsoever painting this and making or making this into a 3D printable model from that SVG creator, and I think then it's all about sizing. Anyways, I'll be back once this is all kind of filled in. So we're back, and I think that's good enough. So we're just gonna save this as edited key. So we're gonna save that and just save that. Come back over here. We know that's in video basics blah 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 and key this is the one I didn't really like that much but it looks like it did a perfect job so we'll just go ahead and download that and we'll come over into Tinkercad what's our Tinkercad name this time shiny Bruticus Lottie Okay, key copy. Now let's import this file and uh, see what happens. So, the next thing we're going to have to do is scale this key because obviously that's a giant key right now. I mean, so I don't know where I'd find a key blank of this key, so I think I'm going to just cheat and make one measurement from front to back here and if we get that measurement right I'm hoping everything else will scale correctly with it anyways I'll be right back alrighty guys I'm back and it looks to be like our key from long point to long point will be 30 or sorry 43 millimeters so now that might bite me because I messed up on my paint right in there but we'll see what we'll do is we'll kind of pop in a ruler set it down and this right now is currently 700 millimeters wide so let's take it down to 43 oh yeah 710 let's do a little bit of math here so 710 divided by 43 is 16.5116 control C that so we're going to want to take 280.38 
280.38 and divide that by that number and that becomes 16.98 so we're going to control Y to redo then paste 16.98 what it, oh I don't remember if I copied this or not control C that come back over here uh oh 2.51 that should be 16.98 there we go let's just bring this back in and there's our key um, now how thick should a key be I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but I guess I could just take any key I have and measure it and uh, here's the other problem I have set that key down and I have lost it so now I can't even measure the thickness so if I was giving it a good guess I couldn't even tell you what do I think um that key could probably be I don't know let's just say mill and a half maybe two mils Oh, nope, that's the wrong way. Yeah, we'll just go 1.75. That's right between my two guesses. And maybe that'll be thin enough. I don't know. A key's pretty thin. Let's just go 1.25. Underestimate that. And let's print it and see what happens. I really don't know how this is going to go, guys. But this is going to be our key. So export this to an STL save that come in open up Cura and Cura is going to take a minute to load so we'll be back once it loads okay guys Cura is back open so let's go ahead and import our object there's our key copy and there it is um so I'm just going to leave everything as my stock standard Cura profile and slice it up Four minutes to print let me go grab an SD card so we can print this ready we're back with the SD card in so we're just gonna save this to the removable and it's gonna save a CCR1 key copy and we'll be back with the uh, key in a second let's 3d print this out okay guys we're back our key just now finished printing and here's our other key the one we spray painted green and uh, I'd say that's pretty close. I mean, sorry about the shaky cam here for a second, but I'm trying to do this with behind the camera is a little difficult. I mean, but you know, pretty close. I don't know if it's going to work yet. But what we're going to do is pop it off. We got our key here. Now it's a little bit smushed in on the back because I had the bed level not quite right. But let's go see if it works uh, with the lock. 3D printed key. Padlock. So it's in there. And... Guess what guys, it's opened. And pull it back out. Just to prove it's locked. I mean, it's locked. This is our 3D printed key. We're just gonna push it in, twist it, and she's unlocked. And I know guys, this was a very simple key, but I mean this took me I don't know. 10 minutes total to make. I mean, minus letting the printer heat up and everything. But it was simple. And I took this all from my smartphone. I mean, a Motorola G7 Power. It has like a 12 megapixel camera. And I know I gave myself every advantage because I had an actual key to measure the distance on. 
And I got a nice up close picture against a solid background. But here's the thing. You can get key blanks anywhere and you can measure a key blank for the distance you needed. As you've seen, I only used one measurement uh, and a picture. And I know I painted the key green. That's just because I was lazy. I could have went into Photoshop or Paint and just traced around the whole key and did it that way. And that would have also worked. But uh, there you go. That is a 3D printed key from a photo in all of about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Anyways, guys, if you want to see something else, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know because that's pretty mind-blowing. I'm going to bust open this padlock real quick, actually, because uh, I want to see if this key is different, and I'm going to give this a go soon. Okay, this looks like it has a much more complex key to it, and we're going to give that one a go next time.